Yes, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about the recap of the live performances of the finale of Eurosong Belgium 2023. And yeah, I've seen um, the comments about the winner and people think it's not a deserving winner. The thing is that, I mean, when you saw the top four, it was basically 10 points that split them in half. So I was like, it was going either way. When I, and I heard which was four was up but then in the top I have to say I mean to me my sweetness of my gay heart is gonna say I love I mean I, I think he sold it with the live performances but because to me beforehand I was like I was not that sure if that song was something I would send but then when I saw the live performances with all the glitz and glamour and then the backup girls and the whole soul he sold it and I have to say before I press play here on the video that I th I don't want to see people hating on this because their their um, their favorite didn't win. The shit happens. Sometimes your favorite doesn't win. We have seen it in the even in Eurovision when the fan favorite doesn't qualify. I mean, Croatia didn't qualify. What's it with the TikTok song? And now. Am I hating on that? No, I just listened to the song afterwards and enjoyed the song. I'm not hating on the fact that she was not qualifier, even though she was a deserving qualifier. Um, but the thing is that I think this is the toxic, toxic side of the Eurovision fan base. Like, like Drag Race, some, some fans take it to the, to, to the extreme and hating on an intro and hating on a singer because their favorite didn't win and i think we should drop that because i mean seriously let him enjoy and can you imagine the eurovision party tours i hope he does every single city now and i mean the fact that this is going to be a party hit in the arena and people are singing so blah 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 is the michael i am i am i am from israel last year i was like it's not the same song this gives me a night at Roxbury, 90s disco glamour with a lot of soul, and I love that. I love 90s disco music, even I prefer that over today's music. So, what I want to say is that stop with the hatred against Gustav, who won. Celebrate, celebrate him instead. I think we should celebrate him and wish him good luck. Yes. Was that the best song of the six? I don't know. I mean, the fact that people say that Shireen or Gala Dragot was robbed. I was gonna, I was like, okay, then I'm gonna see a snippet of the live performance and so I'm gonna give you a little shout and comments about the staging because staging can ruin a song. So we haven't seen that before. I mean, even we have singers who had wore, wore the wrong dress and it was not a non qualifier. People are serious when they judge something. It's not the, just the song, it's the whole package. And the, and the singer can even wear the wrong dress. And she's not a non-qualifier, so we are serious. Anyway, let's see. And subscribe to me to your video before. Okay, let's see. Okay, we begin. I mean, this to me. I mean, I'm gonna gonna get. I'm gonna pause about talk about each performance what I see. I mean, this me. This gives me uh, Andres Esteban. Es oh, what was his name? We have the singer who sounds had a similar song back in 2003 in Sweden. Boomerang. It was a nice song, and this was the little funky. So this is funky 70s to me. This is funky 70s to me, and I think they did a very decent staging. And I think, was it the journal who loved it and the public hate this? <laughs> anyway, it's very, uh, this is not, this would not, this would not be my winner, but this had, it was that, this was the funky entry. Nice, cool stating. And Shireen. What is this? What is this uh, childish TV program, Junior Vision staging? Gosh, it's awful. Who styled her? I mean, can I just say, I 
why 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 she had a nice poofy blue dress in the in the euro song club when we saw the live performance of the two song this staging is awful oh mm. I don't like it I don't like the staging this is too childish this is too uni this is too unirishing for me Ugh. no no thank you she has a, she may have the best song but that staging Okay, roller coaster. They want to tell about tell about winner, I think. We all know what happened to Verona from Estonia back in 2017 when we were trying to sing to each other. Hmm. I mean, this staging it has been done before. People are gonna say that the, I mean, the Belgian winner with Gustav and because of you is something we have seen before. But I have to say, this is a staging we have seen before as well. This I look into your eyes staging. I mean, this is the radio hit, but this is okay. Anra, come on. This feels like the adult version of the Freya Sky music performance in Univision. I like the red. I mean, this is sleek. This is clean. This is nothing crazy, it's very slick, disco, and then some voguing. This is the most... I mean, people are gonna hate me for this, but this so far is the most sleek and clean performances, nothing crazy, and um, yeah, I think this is a very... They stage this correct. Gala Drago. Okay, I have to say uh, nothing wrong with the song, absolutely not. But this to me, will, I would say this is the love child of Billy Eilish uh, Roxanne from Romania back in 20, 20, 20, 2021 with the Amnesia song. Was it that song that she sang? Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with this either. I have to say, this gives me very billboard, billboard performance. And Loredana. Okay, Alcazar. She reminds me of Lina Hedlund. I mean, I have to say, I cannot, I mean, the... I have to say, maybe Gal Gal Galaga Dragot was slightly robbed when I saw the staging, but I have to say, she and Gustav had the best stagings. And the best staging and good clean vocals can sell a song so hard, and we saw that the result was so close. Just the slip votes counts, and yes, people are gonna hate me for this because they, they're gonna say the televote was not working, the televote was not, wor not working. But still, people voted for him, and we have a song, so I think people should drop the hate train on this one because let him enjoy his moment. This is like when we reacted to when France won for Univision, people were spreading hate. I was like, come on, he's a kid. Let Gustav enjoy his moment, and I have to say, I think it's gonna be. We have. It's crazy. It feels like we have talked about all the selected songs. This is the last one, and the people go, "This is non qualifier I was like, "This is the third entry we have talked about. This is the third. <laughs> so, <laughs> calm down. This is the third entry. I mean, even when Sweeney can fail, you can can fail. I mean, everyone can fail with sending something, but people about oh, this is non qualifier I was like. It's the third song, so chill. Anyhow, <clears throat> I think for me it was when I see, saw the uh, performances like this, I was like, I can understand why he won. I can understand why he won. I love it. Anyway, thank you so much and see you with more videos.